Hey guys, this is Casper, LA Tennis Coaching. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I would like to share with you a footwork tip that improved the movement on the court of hundreds of my clients and it will also improve yours. So make sure you watch the video till the end and let's get started. Let's go. Okay guys, many of you or maybe all of you know that the footwork is the key to a great performance. So if you're not moving fast enough on the court, if you're not using the proper footwork technique, then you're going to be in big trouble. You can have a perfect technique, you can have a perfect stroke, uh, you can be mentally super pre prepared before the match, but if you're, if you're not moving fast enough, if you're not getting the right position before you hit the ball, then you're going to struggle with your strokes and you're going to have really big problems winning matches. So let me show you two tips that I think are crucial to move on the court like professional tennis players. Tip number one is the great base. So make sure your feet are wider than your shoulders, your knees are bent and make sure you stay on your toes. This will allow you to move to the ball faster and it will help you to keep the balance in all the difficult situations. Some of the players, uh, they, they have the tendency uh, in keeping the, the base a little bit more narrow. That's why they're losing balance sometimes and they're not, not able to move to the ball as fast as they could. So guys, remember the lower center of gravity will help you to keep the balance and will help you to move to the ball way faster. The second tip I want to talk about is the recovery footwork pattern, which is also called the crossover step. Most common mistake uh, recre recreational players do, they moving to the ball, they hitting the shot and they shuffling back to the middle. This is a very inefficient way of uh, moving back to the middle. It's slowing down the recovery process and most likely it will cost you being late to the next shot. If the opponent hits the ball down the middle or not that far from the middle, then getting to the ball and shuffling back to the center is totally fine because it's a very short distance. But if the opponent creates a little bit better angle or it hits a very wide shot, then getting to the ball and using that crossover step will save you a ton of time and will help you to get to the next shot way faster. First, I would like to show you both footwork recovery techniques so you can see the difference. So let's start with the shuffling back to the center and the second one will be crossover step. Shuffle back. Crossover step. So you can really see that using crossover step is a way faster technique to get back to the center. Let me try to explain the best I can the crossover step footwork pattern technique so you can start implementing it in your practices and eventually tournament matches. So starting from the middle, you have two options to getting to the wide shot. First option is getting to the shot and hitting with, with the close stance, transferring the body weight forward and pushing from the right leg, doing that crossover step and recovering back to the center. The second option is that you, you start from the middle, you see the wide shot and then you're getting to the ball, hitting your forehand with the open stance and the same, pushing from the right leg, crossover and recover back to the middle. Most of the professional tennis players use open stance when they hit their forehands. The game got so fast that sometimes it's just impossible to get to the wide shots and then adjust your position to hit it with the close stance. I understand that some of you might not be familiar with the difference of hitting the forehand with the close stance and hitting with the forehand with the open stance. I will cover it, uh, I will cover the topic maybe in the next video, but right now I would like, you, I would like to show you the both techniques. Both are proper, so if you're feeling comfortable with using uh, open stance on your forehand, 
then I would highly recommend to use, use it every single time when you're getting to the wider, wider shots. So make sure, open stance here and then push from the right leg, recover back to the center. If you're not familiar with the open stance, then it's totally fine. Don't worry about it right now. Get to the ball, try to adjust your position, make sure you transfer the body weight and push from the right leg, crossover step and recover back to the center. Okay, let me turn on my ball machine and I will show you four different shots to demonstrate different uh, footwork patterns and different ways to recover back to the middle. So really pay attention to my footwork. The first shot will be forehand close stance and shuffling back to the center. Then the second one will be close stance using crossover step to recover back to the middle. The third one will be open stance forehand shuffling back to the center. And the fourth one will be open stance using crossover step to get back to the center. Really, really uh, watch my footwork so you can see how huge of a difference it is uh, in using that crossover step to recover back to the center. Okay, let me show it to you. So as you could see on the previous video, the difference in using the closed stance and the open stance and the difference in shuffling back to the middle and using crossover step to get back to the center is just huge. So guys, if you want to move on the tennis court like the best players in the world, if you want to drastically improve your game, then make sure you use that crossover step to, to recover back to the center. Okay, so to shortly sum it up, make sure about the great base, remember about the great base. So feet wider than your shoulders, knees are bent, stay on your toes, as we mentioned at the beginning of the video. And the second thing is make sure you use that crossover step to recover back to the center. You can start practicing it, uh, doing just uh, shadow swings to feel comfortable with the footwork. Then the next step could be asking your friend to feed you balls from the hand. And then eventually you want to implement that footwork uh, in your practice and uh, tournament matches. Okay guys, we've come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the lesson, make sure you click that like button. Leave a comment below with your feedback. You can write down what would you like to see in the future videos. What content would you like me to create? And if you found those tips valuable, make sure you subscribe my channel for the future videos. Okay guys, thanks a lot for your support and I will see you soon.